The Taipei Bike Show is one of the biggest bike shows in the cycling calendar. We've got 1,112 stands to go take a look at, but we're going to go and find some seriously cool new tech. Let's go. So this is really exciting. Ridley have brought two prototype frames to Taipei. Fortunately, they've not been too difficult to spot. Now, first of all, this is the NOAA SL disc, and there's not many aero-optimized disc brake bikes out there, so this is particularly exciting. It's quite a long way down the testing process, so we're here, so hopefully not too long before it might reach the market. But it is basically a NOAA SL, and then with a different fork and a different back end on it, so that it becomes disc compatible, both flat mount discs, that's a seriously cool looking bike. Then next up is the Helium SLX. So this is the super light bike in the range. Now this new frame set, we're told, for the frame and fork weighs just one kilo. So that is super, super light. This is the new urban group set from Shimano. It's called the Matreya. We've seen it before, but I've never actually seen it in the flesh, and it is really, really strikingly good looking. So it's a single ring set up at the front, and that's a standard chain ring there, not like a narrow wide version, but with a chain guard. The rear derailleur looks like a normal Shimano road rear derailleur just a very stylish version, but it's perhaps it's the shifters that are the most unique thing. It's just got hydraulic discs on there, and then that, believe it or not, is kind of like a grip shift, so you twist it to change gear. I'm not allowed to touch it, because it's a prototype, and there's a guy there who's telling me off, but that is how it works. And then the final thing is that the wheels as well, which is specific to the group set, and they look very cool, a bit like Campagnolo uh, Chamals from, well, whatever it was, the 90s. That's not a bad thing, that's a very, very good thing. Right, so we've come to Vision and FSA, not just because there's a plate of biscuits on the front of the counter, but we want to get a bit more information about their new wireless group set. It's not here, they've told us they've finished the testing process, it's just simply a case of refining it for production now. But we have found this, it's not new new, but it's the Vision time trial specific group set. Now, it's designed here for triathletes, but it is UCI legal, so you could stick it on a time trial bike and race it on the road. They've obviously got all the shifting stuff worked out. They've got their own cassette, they've got that super aerodynamic rear derailleur there. But perhaps what's most interesting, the aero cranks that we've seen, but they also have an aerodynamic one by specific chain set. So that's got the narrow wide chain rings on there designed specifically for a single ring setup. So that's the time trial version. If we come around here, there is also a road specific version as well on a road crank. Again, that's got the narrow wide chain rings. Then something that I thought was of interest to roadies, even though it's mountain bike specific, are their stems that are designed for 29ers and they've got a minus 12 drop on them, which again, for roadies looking to get a little bit lower, it's always difficult going from like a minus seven to a minus 17. So here the minus 12 fills the gap. That is something that I used to really look for. Uh, deep section carbon wheels for your uh, balance bike. I think, I think I can pull that off. Okay. Can't get it off. Can you help me get, get it off, please? Thanks. They've reinvented the clip. Thanks. A product that's just being launched here at the show is the new rotor power meter. So it's called the Twin Power. The original rotor in power had bottom bracket mounted sensors so it only measured your non-drive side crank. This one has got those four strain gauges in the bottom bracket axle still but it's also now got four in your drive side crank so it measures both sides. It's accurate plus or minus two and a half percent. There's a rechargeable battery now so instead of a double A battery they've got a rechargeable battery, a lithium ion battery in the axle and it weighs 645 grams all up so pretty light as well as just measuring your power output. You also can go into much greater detail, so it measures left and right independently, then it can also create these fancy little torque graphs here as well. So one neat feature, if you're using rotors non-round chain rings, then this can actually tell you which ones you need to use. So depending on how you pedal, you can then tailor your chain rings as well. It's quite cool. It's almost ironic that with carbon fibre being the exotic material of choice, there's so much of it here at this show that it's actually skinny steel tubes that really stand out. And admittedly, the bar tape probably is what catches your eyes first, but go take a look at that. The lug work on that is incredible. It's a Yasuiro made out of tang tubing. And that is a seriously cool looking bike. Here at Forever Machine, they've really made their lug work stand out. 
by embedding Diamante crystals. Classy. Now speed is your thing, Vittoria are claiming that they've got the fastest rolling tyre in the world. Now, don't know whether that claim is accurate, but it's a big one. It's the new Corsa Speed tyre. It's designed specifically for time trials at the minute. It's only available in the 23, but they reckon it saves 30 seconds in a 40k time trial compared to the next fastest tyre in the world. And if that's true, then that's some serious, serious speed for not very much money. Rolling resistance, it's the new aero, we've said it before. We'll say it again. Right. Launched just the other day, this is SRAM's Apex one by group set. The idea being that it brings the one by technology right down to the entry level price point. It's pretty cool, it's a pretty neat looking bit of kit. Most importantly, you've got hydraulic disc brakes paired up with those road shifters, although there is a flat bar equivalent as well, so I'm told. You've got a big wide ratio cassette on there, you've got a narrow wide chain ring, so single up front, and no chain slap. So that is day one at the Taiwan Bike Show. I've seen so much amazing new tech. I think I'm starting to lose my eyesight slightly. If you've still got an appetite for it though, if you click just up there, then you get through to our tech playlist where all of our tech videos are in one handy place. Or just down there, and something a little bit different, but it was Bristol's bespoke handmade bike show, which I went to check out last year. Right, otherwise, make sure you subscribe to GCN, and then I'll catch you later.